In AutoCAD architecture, there are two ways to change a wall's style after it's been created. One way is through the properties palette. The other is from a tool in the tool palettes. Let's explore these options. I'll begin by creating a horizontal center justified wall using the wall tool on the design tab. This uses the standard style, which has both an adjustable width and height. I'll select the wall and in the properties palette under dimensions, we may adjust both the width and height. Under General, we see that the style is standard. If there are additional styles in the file, you may use the style dropdown and switch to one of those styles. I'll minimize the properties palette. At this point, we want to change this generic wall to a CMU-8 style. So, I'll press Escape, then on the Walls palette, I'll right-click on the CMU-8 tool and from the Apply Tool Properties 2 menu, I'll click Wall. At the Select Walls prompt, I'll pick the wall I drew and press Enter. Our wall converts to this style, maintaining the justification line location. I'll press the Escape key. Now I'll choose a more complex CMU wall style by right-clicking on that particular wall tool. Again, from the Apply Tool Properties 2 menu, I'll click the Wall option. At the Select Walls prompt, I'll pick the wall I just converted and press Enter. And we see that the wall changes once again, maintaining the justification line location. When you use the Apply Tool Properties 2 option, these styles are available in the drawing. After selecting a wall, in the Properties Palette Style dropdown, you will have the multiple styles available to choose from. Selecting any of these converts the wall to that style. With multiple styles in your file, it's easy to change them in the Properties palette. If a wall style is not yet loaded into the file, simply find the tool in the Tool Palettes, right-click on it, and use the Apply Tool Properties to option to convert the existing wall to that style, while simultaneously adding the style to the drawing.